I just built this bunker, and these two people who have never met each other are going to attempt to live down here for the next 100 days. Take your blindfolds off. Hugo, this is Rain. Rain, Hi. this is Hugo. Nice to meet you. This is our first time ever meeting. And this is the nuclear bunker they will call home. Everything you would need to live for the next 100 days is in this bunker. Dang. You can even grow your own vegetables. Oh, cool. And if you come over here, you're all 40 feet underground. Wait, what? Oh my god. Above you is a bed. Nice. And here's another bed. And most importantly, over here is your half a million dollars. Dude, it's real. Well, it better be. If both of you stay in here for 100 days, you keep it. But if one of you leaves, you both get nothing. We are not leaving. 100 days, you could have half a million dollars. Wow. That's so much money. Okay, let's see if they survive 100 days. I can't believe we're actually here. Isn't that crazy? Like, this is our new house. I know. You're my roommate now. We're not going to see the sun for 100 days. Days. If we can grow our own food, we're gonna be set. So far, they seem to be getting along. But little did they know that wasn't going to last for long. You're so stupid. You're a monster. I don't like you, dude. <laughs> hey, hey! We're getting ready for night one. Hopefully, we don't fall off tonight. Good night, Hugo. Good night, Rain. Good morning. I will say I don't like that I don't know what time it is. We didn't know each other this time yesterday. Oh, we didn't. And now we're just cooking breakfast. And even though these two literally just met, they're going to have to work together if they want to win half a million dollars. However, like always, there's going to be a twist. That does look a little sus, that little thing right there. Wait, yo, what is that? Why are these boxes locked? I don't know, man. There's something going on here that we don't know about. See this button right here? Don't touch it. It represents the twist of the century, but to find out about that, they're gonna have to wait until day 10. That is, of course, if they don't die from boredom first. What do you want to do today? I'm going to learn how to play guitar. Why do I need a radio when I can be the radio? What the heck? Over the next hundred days, I'm going to learn Spanish. It's our third day in the bunker. Let's go. We're going to come out so ripped at the end of this. You're my new favorite human in this world. You're the coolest person I know down here. What? And by day four, the challenges of living with a stranger were becoming more apparent. I gotta tell you something. You were snoring bad last night, actually. Sorry. Some earplugs would be nice, but it's okay. If rain ever annoys me, this will just freak her out. <coughs> this is our view of the outside. <coughs> it's just dirt. So gross to look at. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. But since leaving would cost them half a million dollars, they were going to have to make the best of it. I made enough salad for both of us. I am so bored. Today, we're building a throne of canned food. I'm Hugo. I'm Rain. And, and this, this is, is Life, Life in the Bunker. <laughs> <laughs> and once they got to day 10, it was time for my special offer. <laughs> Whoa, it's Jimmy. All right, I think it's time I show you guys the twist of this video. There's two boxes on each side of the room. Yeah, we saw that earlier. What do you think's behind here? A button. Button. Oh my God. A hand scanner. And on the other side, another hand scanner. Oh, and one more thing. A one minute timer. Um, hey Chandler, do the thing. Finally. As you'll see, the timer is now counting down. If you let that timer ever hit zero, your money will instantly be engulfed in flames, incinerating every single dollar of that half a million. To stop your money from burning, you two are going to have to work together. It's pretty simple. Put your hands on those scanners. And there you go, the timer stopped. So, every single day, at some random time, this will happen. Every single day? Every day. What if I'm showering? I don't care the reason why. If you guys mess up just what? one time, both of you are leaving with nothing. Oh my gosh. See you in a couple days. <gasps> oh my God. I won't be able to sleep comfortably ever. Yeah. For a hundred yeah. days. If we mess up one time, we're done. We should move our beds down here. Okay. I still feel this like weight on my chest. The button only goes off once a day, but it could be at any time. I'm not gonna lie. I am a lot more stressed out. Just having that lingering feeling that the button could be pressed at any moment. Oh my God, Rain, 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 go, 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 go. Oh God. Oh, that's scary. Oh. Dude, my heart just dropped to my toe. Oh. Well, it's not gonna go off again today, so. And after the daily alarm, Hugo and Rain spent their free time reading and learning to work together. This is Beast Boot Camp. Get down and give me two. And honestly, it seemed like they were on track to win this half a million dollars. But to test their strength as a team, one morning I visited them at 6 a.m. to press the alarm to see if I could trip them up. Oh my God, hurry! But they were still pretty fast. 
However, Hugo and Rain weren't just quick at my alarm, considering it only took them 13 days to find the surprise I had hidden under the floorboards. Is that the latch? There's no way we're supposed to know about this. Open that thing up. This is like a whole nother world. There's so much. And now that they're equipped with the world's best chocolate, Hugo and Rain were really starting to get into the groove of saving their money from burning every day. Let's do this. We got this, Rain. We got and this. With every day gone by, they were one day closer to winning five hundred thousand dollars. We scare the alarm. The alarm Don't doesn't scare, scare us. us. From now on, every ten days, I'll bring them a new offer. And since it's day twenty, Nolan, can you hear us? Yeah. Press the button. You guys have gotten very good at this and literally do it in a couple seconds every time. Which makes me wonder, do you even need a minute anymore? Uh, yeah. We would like it. Yeah. We definitely, yeah. Let's see how much you'd like it. I will add an extra $50,000 to your prize pool for a grand total of $550,000 if you let me shrink this one minute timer down to 30 seconds. Really think about it because the next 80 days, you will only have 30 seconds to place both your hands on these. If you miss once, $550,000 burns instead of $500,000. Let's think about this. This is a lot of money on the line. Now we're about to shrink the timer and make everything harder. Is 50,000 worth it? I don't know. We've been here in less than 10 seconds every time. I think we can do it. We should do it. Let's go, let's do, do it. it. We're doing it. It will now permanently Rest at 30 seconds. Nolan! Here comes the money! As promised, here's your $50,000. Hopefully it doesn't get you out. I'm not gonna lie, that may have been a stupid decision. No, you can't say that now. Actually, it was a phenomenal decision. You see, not once did they even come close to failing. Each day, getting to the hand scanner in under 10 seconds. Ray, we got this alarm thing in the back. Now it's like, don't get too bored in here. So, with day 30's offer, let's see if we can take the difficulty up a notch. It's day 30, and I have another offer. Instead of telling you the offer, I'm gonna show you. Press the button! Oh, it's quiet. Mm-hmm. That's my offer. $50,000 will be added to the prize pool, bringing it up to $600,000, but there will be no noise when the alarm goes off every day. I'll give you guys some time to discuss it. Yeah. We won't get the alarm back. Like, what if this is the last money offer? We got $550,000 that we've been able to protect so far. Is that not enough? Mm. We would have to take shifts from now on until the challenge is done. Do you want to do that? Oh, dude, it's so much money. All right, guys, it's time to decide. Do you want $50,000 added to your prize pool if you let me turn off the sound? As much as we would like it, we can't. We're passing. Oh, really? Yeah, you could both buy Teslas. We can already buy Teslas, though. You could buy more Teslas. I only need one car. All right, I'll see you in, I don't know, sometime in the future. See you later, maybe. I can't believe we said no. Jimmy just offered me $50,000. Who says no to that? Right. Saying no to that much money hurts. He'll come around to it. He'll get over it. I think we made the right decision. So, in an attempt to recover their relationship, they moved all their food supplies out of the way to paint a mural for their new team name, the Sewer Rats. Dang, I crushed that. You're welcome. But it wasn't enough, because Hugo was still frustrated that he was doing most of the chores, such as feeding the fish and cleaning their tanks. This is gross. Oh my god. And maintaining the garden so they never ran out of fresh vegetables. Yeah, good job, good job. What would I do without Hugo? Die. And on top of that, Hugo had done most of the cooking himself. And since they were eating three times a day, that meant he had cooked over 100 meals for the both of them. Oh my god, you're like my own personal Waffle House. Don't disrespect me like that. And while the tension was continuing to grow between them, my day 